Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing the part two of this Ejubus review. In that rhymed. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the front and the back of the plate. And this has got some gorgeous sort of flower laces. And this is the Sarah and Ejubus collaboration. This is the plate one. So you just need to remove the blue protective film off of the plate and then I always like to clean it with some acetone and a cotton claw just to get rid of any glue residue. So I thought as spring is near I would use some nice spring um, pastel colours as my base for the pop sticks. Um, I will be uh, putting some of these designs on my sort of stiletto fake nails as well. I'll do that on the other side of the plate. But these have got some gorgeous floral images on them and I love that dove, it's so cute. And that image there, oh that'd be perfect for Beauty and the Beast inspired nail art. Who has already gone to see it? I probably would have already seen it but because my videos are kind of done a little bit in advance as in recorded and edited a bit in advance I can't really say what I think about it but I know I'm dying to watch it. Um, as girlies are going to get to, as uh, some of my <coughs> girls are going to be getting together and go and watch it. Um, as I cannot wait for it to come out, it looks awesome. We've watched trailers on it, it just looks fantastic. Um, so yes, so anyway, back to this, I'm slightly digressing. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that image right there. So I think this is like my more favourite plate as opposed to the other one, although the other one was was nice this has got far more images on it that I personally really like to see plus these type of images kind of remind me that spring is going to be coming real soon so I can't wait for that I can't wait for warmer weather I'm so sick of miserable weather here in the UK and then obviously after following spring comes summer or whatever summer equivalent it is in the UK which we don't get proper summers um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to some warmer weather and I love seeing all the flowers that come out as well and all the different colours. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll definitely be using more and more of this plate as the year goes by. So I'm just going to swatch a few more images of this side before I go on to the next side. And isn't this image so adorable? It's kind of like one of those... Uh, I think we call them wall clocks here. Do you know, it's like a white head and you blow it and it flows off. But these, this is like that, but with hearts. So how cute is that? So I'm just going to swatch a few of these butterfly images. I'm just going to put them all on the one pop stick. And I'm going to use different colours as well. I really wanted to swatch these as I love butterfly images. Just getting rid of the excess polish and placing them on the nails. You could actually do some real cute nail art just doing things like this, even though I'm just doing it for swatch purposes actually. I think it looks really cute. It's going to pop this last image on. So there you go, they've all swatched really well. So this is the second side of the plate and I can't wait to swatch this. I love this one. I think this is probably like my favourite side of the plate. So I'm going to do a similar thing that I did in my last video to do the bases because it's super quick and so fun to do. So instead of putting acetone on the sponge and then putting my Sharpies on it, which could risk ruining my Sharpies, I'm going to put the Sharpies on dry like I'm showing you. I'm just randomly putting colours around because obviously when you apply the acetone, then uh, you know they're going to blend and bleed out a little bit so I'm just going to put a couple that like blo blobs of acetone oh nail polish remover actually it's not acetone I think maybe you're probably best using isopropyl alcohol but mine's not particularly strong enough percentage and I forgot my liquid latex so I'm just going to quickly pop that on before I go any further because obviously I don't want to get sharpie on my skin and obviously I'm going to be stamping as well. So I'll leave all links and details in the description box below as where you can find the products. So I'm just adding a little bit more 
colour to the Sharpie pen, sorry to the sponge and just um, adding more colour so you can keep going in until you're happy with how it's blended and um, so I've gone ahead and done the rest of my nail off camera and I just think it adds like a really cool base effect and then I'm going to go ahead and actually apply a matte top coat to this and then I'm cured that underneath my lamp and that's kind of the end look and this technique I, I'm pretty sure Dreamy M came up with this or she's come up with something similar and that's where I got the inspiration from so I'm going to get straight into the swatches um, there is uh, so many uh, beautiful ways you can use these images like I say you can use advanced stamping or just use it plain like this it still looks just as cute and I kind of like the fact that there's lots of different lacy designs behind the flowers. But yeah, you could have some real fun with these images. I'm just going to pop them on my nails. And as um, with all the Jubas plates, I've not had any issue with pickup as well. As you can see, all the images are being picked up absolutely fine, even though I'm using a variety of polishes and stampers. Oops, sorry, I blocked what I was doing there. But there you go. Isn't that so cute? I really like this image here. So I'm just going to be using white for all of these nails, white stamping polish. How cute does that look? And I'm just going to get... I'm going to try and put um, the birds on here just so you get to see some of these other images as well. Sorry that hadn't focused. And then I'm just going to place this one. And pop that there. So there you go. So I'm just going to switch my nails around and do another five swatches. I just do it this way, even though I show you it on both of the hands, how it looks. It's just easier for placement doing it with, you know, using my non-dominant hand, things like that. So I am um, looking forward to creating some beautiful designs with these plates um because <clears throat> sarah R is absolutely amazing with her creativity as well so um, that's really comes across in these images that she's picked because there's lots of like um ways that you could use these images and create some really gorgeous and, and funky nail art <laughs> that's really cool it kind of reminds me a bit like like quilted like a quilted effect And then you've got like a plaid design. And then finally I'm going to use this image right here, which again, which I think is so cool. Because you could cut, go in and fill in each of those, you know, jagged lines, like chevrons with some different colour. And you've got the rose on top. So the video is not complete unless you get some peel off action. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, this stuff is so great for nail art, like for cleanup because it just totally reduces the amount of cleanup you've got. I'll just get it off my thumb finally. So there you go. So there's my swatches all um, that, that I did on my pop sticks of the first part of the plate. So as you can see, they've all swatched beautifully and they've got some real gorgeous images on there as well. And here are the other swatches that I've done after they're all cleaned up. And even though these are like all random images, I actually really quite like it. <laughs> it's a real... Uh, I love the base colour and the stamping images are gorgeous. So this is it on the other hand. Major flower plower going on with these swatches. I've absolutely 
really enjoyed doing the review and swatches of these plates so thank you Ajubas for sending them to me thank you Jelly Babes for coming and checking it out like you always do and here's some videos for you to check out also take care Jelly Babes